Good morning, my friends. It's Sunday, March 13th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. My cat is right over here. Hello. How are you today? Giving herself a bath. And I found this tiny little icon from when I worked in an orphanage in Russia. It's literally this big, um, but I thought we could look at it today and this week. It's also of the Pantacrator, like the one that I wrote that we looked at last week. Very simple, with very few colors. A photograph really pasted on a card that I must have gotten at a kiosk somewhere on the street. Jesus looks very pale and thin, but he looks happy, peaceful. And like with much of the iconography of the Eastern Orthodox, he's surrounded by lots of artistry and gold, as if there's great beauty around him, but also great chaos. And like with all those icons of the Pentacrator, he is displaying the scripture open wide for us to see this time. The Bible that in the icon I had written was closed. This one is open, showing the very pages within, as if opening us to the intimacy with God, inviting us to look. When I first uh, put my phone on this icon, it uh, looked at that little box of the scripture being open and thought it was a QR code. How interesting is that? It is the ultimate QR code which will take us into the mind of God. But we don't fix our icons on it, we fix our minds and hearts on it, right? Today is our day of worship. And I'm constantly amazed with the way that the Holy Spirit works through the lectionary. Today, we are looking at a megalomaniac ruler. Sound familiar? <laughs> the gospel is about Herod Antiphas, Herod, the son of Herod, the son of Herod the Great who tried to kill Jesus as an infant. Herod Antiphas, like his father, is pretty much insane and spends his entire life trying to acquire more, more and more and more. Reminds me a lot of Vladimir Putin. Herod Antifas takes his brother's wife for his own wife. After being married himself, he divorces his own and marries his brothers, which is highly criticized by John the Baptist. So Herod Antifas takes John's head. And the Pharisees come to Jesus and say, Herod is... Be careful, Herod's looking for you. And Jesus says, you tell that old fox, which was a, a considered a, a nocturnal and dirty animal by the Jews. You tell him, my time has not yet come and I'm here. I am casting out demons. I am doing what God asks. I will not deviate from my path because of Herod. It's fascinating in this day and age how we see different kinds of rulers. There is Zelensky in the Ukraine who is willing to give up his very life for his country. And there's Vladimir Putin who will not stop trying to acquire power. And we see, of course, Herod and Jesus. And we need to ask ourselves, all of us, what is our ruler? Who is our ruler? And we need to be honest. I know sometimes my ruler is my own insecurity, my fear, the well-being of my family. But every once in a while, I try to have it be God. Like Jesus, he may have been afraid, but he never let the bullies drive his behavior. He did not stop doing what God asked of him, no matter what the consequences. Join me today in worship as we think about what it means to be ruled by God. 
Let us pray. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of this day. We ask you, that you would call us into greater and greater service of you, that we would be willing to give up our comfort, our sense of security, our power to follow you. Lord, give us courage. We ask you to bless the people of Ukraine today. Protect them, guide them. Thank you for their courage and their witness. We ask you to bless the sick, the dying, the hungry, those who are in pain. Bless the people of Russia that they may awaken and reverse their course. Lord, bless those who struggle with mental health issues, addiction, depression. Guide us, Lord, in all that we do to with courage serve you all the days of our life and to face our death with courage and hope. This we ask in the name of Jesus, your son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.